Following being swept by the Yankees in the Subway Series, the New York Mets are back home at Citi Field where they open up a 10-game homestand starting with the Colorado Rockies on Thursday. But things are getting a little tight atop the National League East. New York Post Mets beat reporter Mike Puma always has you covered on everything with the Metropolitans, and he joins me now. Mike, how's it going? Good. How you doing? I'm doing well. Now, Mike, the Amazings, they're 4-6 and six in their last 10 games, and their lead in the NL East is down to a game and a half. So... Should Mets fans be concerned? And is the team concerned right now about where they stand? I don't think the team is concerned. Mets fans are probably concerned because they're always concerned. But you look at the big picture here, it, it's it's a game and a half lead. You're talking about a Mets team still on pace to win over 100 games. Now the Braves are charging. But the thing I, I would really look at is, is if I'm the Mets is the strength of schedule of moving forward here where the Braves have a tougher road ahead uh, than the Mets who, you know, the Mets, once they get past the Dodgers next week, they're going to be getting a steady diet of teams like the Pirates, the Nationals, the Marlins. Uh, it's a strength of schedule. Opponents have a 467 winning percentage, which is uh, from this point, which is the lowest, uh, it, it's the easiest strength to schedule of, uh, of anybody in baseball for the rest of the season. So right now, I think that's what you look at if you're the Mets, even with the, the Braves closing this gap. Okay, but starting Thursday, right? Four games set with the Rockies, Colorado. They're not one of the better teams in baseball. So with the Dodgers headed to town next, as you mentioned, next week, is this series a must sweep for the Mets here? I wouldn't say must sweep, but... It, it's, it's, it's a series you want to win for sure. You know, you'll take three out of four, and if you can get the sweep, that's gravy. And the, the thing you really look to, look at here is you got DeGrom, Bassett, and Scherzer pitching three of those games. It looks like David Peterson will probably pitch that Saturday game. So you have really your three top starters pitching in this series. Uh, you have a weak Colorado team, as you mentioned. You're at home at City Field, so... Definitely, you want to win this series, and if you can get that sweep, great. I want to go back to the strength of schedule you talked about, and even the Mets' recent schedule. The team just played 27 games in 26 days, and now they have the easiest schedule in baseball the rest of the way. So is an easy schedule, Mike, good for the focus of this team as they try to lock down a postseason spot in September? I don't think you focus on it if you're the team. I think the, the thing you look at if you, you'll, you'll look at if you're the Mets is trying to stay healthy, and, and trying to keep your focus on that one game at a time kind of thing where, you know, you go out there every night and, you know, I, I think in the back of the players' minds, they understand what the strength of schedule is. A couple have mentioned to me that once they get past the Dodgers, they realize uh, kind of what's ahead here. But on a nightly basis, I don't think they'll be thinking about it. And I, I think Buck Showalter has been um, through too many of these horse races to, to, let his team's focus go there. Yeah, got to keep the focus, eyes on the prize. That is making the playoffs and winning the division for the New York Mets. That is New York Post Mets beat writer Mike Puma. Mike, good to see you. We'll see how the Mets can close things out. Thank you.